Hey everyone, I'm Tamara Krinsky with the Red Carpet Report. We're here tonight at the Independent Series Awards, which honors excellence in digital series. We'll be talking with creators and stars to find out what should be on your must-watch list. All right, so I'm here with Brad Bell and Jane Espenson of Husbands, and we were just talking about um, how useful it is to have a purse Esperan. attached to you. Yes, a Sparan. Um, indeed, the Celtic Croft was nice enough to send me a kilt for the show because uh, I wanted to. Um, well, I wanted to pay some homage to my heritage and also celebrate the fact that Scotland and, and the UK have, um, well, except for for Ireland, but uh, the the rest of the UK, England and Wales have, um, uh, yeah, past marriage equality. So speaking of marriage equality, tell everybody a little bit about Husbands in case they're not familiar with the series. Yeah, Husbands is a show we created together and it's uh, an online show about two young men who haven't been dating very long but end up drunk married. And uh, they don't want it, they don't want to look bad for the cause and they, uh, they decide to make a go of it. And uh, luckily I think they love each other. I think they're going to be okay. And you guys have completed three seasons, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. We're on the CW seed now. That's where you can watch it. Yeah. So what's it been like? Because you've gone through several different platforms. Talk about that evolution of what it's been like for the series and how it's changed over the three seasons. Um, it's interesting because I, I think what we've seen is that the platform is really kind of irrelevant. You know, it's, it's uh, content on a screen. And that could be any kind of content on any kind of screen being delivered in any way. It's, it's a question of uh, is it good and do people want to watch it? And luckily people like what we do. I think the thing that is different about what we do is is the indie part of, of these awards, which is that there isn't anyone telling us what to put in our show and what we can't put in our show, and we really we really treasure that. And CW has been wonderful about that. And Jane, you're a veteran of one-hour television. What has it been like switching from one hour to this very independent genre where you pretty much there are no rules? It's it's very different, uh, other than the writing process, which is exactly the same, and. Um, the well, one you, you got yeah. your start in sitcoms. I, yeah, oh yeah, the sitcom thing is exactly the same. Um, that is that is where I started. Um, the wonderful thing about doing the show with Brad, I've never had a writing partner before, and a producing partner is that he's the showrunner, um, which which is wonderful because he does the really hard work. So if you guys were going to give advice to young writers watching this about how to work with someone, what what advice would you give to writing teams out there who are just starting out? That's good. How to work with someone. You... What it's, it's about the content. If you have really, really good scripts, they will get noticed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. as far as how to work together, I mean, do you guys each go off and write a script separately and then merge it? Do you type together? Like, how does that actual process work? In between. Yeah. 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 yeah we don't type together. We um, we come up with an outline together so that we you know we get the general map and we agree on where the story's going to go and then. One person takes a pass and we send over that draft and then that person takes a pass and we send it back and forth. I would say go with the better idea would be my best advice because that's why Jane and I really like working together is there's not an ego thing involved. I, you know, I never feel like, no, my idea is better because it's my idea. It's always like when she has a better idea, I'm like, that's the better one, let's do it and vice versa. So it's very easy. And one of the things that I love about the show is your interaction with the fans. What's it been like having such direct access to the people who love the show? That's amazing. I mean, we did we raised uh, some of our money through a Kickstarter campaign, and that really started the the great contact with the fans. Um, the fans know that they made it possible, and I don't think there's anything that that feels more engaged than that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, they're who we make it for. You know, we made a show that we wanted to watch and and for whoever else would like that show. And so the people that like the show are, are uh, we are one of them. We are fans of the show, and, and so are they. So, And we're fans of yours. I have one last question for you, Jane. You do a very cool thing on Twitter. You do writing sprints. Can you tell me about those, and for people who might not know what you do? Yeah. Uh, one day, I needed to work on a script, and I kept tweeting instead. And I finally said, OK, I'm going to tell Twitter that I'm going to be working for the next hour. And then at the last second, I was like, well, you want anyone want to join me? And so now any time that I really need to focus, I can just reach out and there are all these people, hundreds of people focusing at the same time, which just sort of helps you feel accountable. And people have really found it useful. I get people every day saying like, I finished my dissertation or I wrote a book or whatever because of your sprints. It's, it's wonderful. Yeah, That's kind of amazing because we usually hear about how Twitter and Facebook distract us from creative work. Right. You've actually found a way to make it work for you. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, by publicizing, stop tweeting. <laughs>
Well, have a fantastic time tonight. Thanks so much for talking with Thank us. Thank you very much. Thank Good to you. See you. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for joining us tonight at the Independent Series Award. If you liked what you saw, click like. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. And tell me in the comments what your favorite web series is. Mine would be Emma Approved. Check the credits and you'll know why.